Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Napoleon Amir. I'm an online entrepreneur and a mobile gamer as well. My brothers invited me to play the game, so I downloaded it via the uh, uh, Play Store, and then that was it. I was hooked into the game right away. Uh, through the game, I was able to spend time with my brothers, and not only that, I was able to uh, have a lot of fun. Call of Duty Mobile, as of now, has a lot of features that really invites uh, players like us to be uh, immense in the game. It is a strategic uh, gameplay. Not only that, you need to communicate with other fellow players. You need to build community as well if you're joining screams or tournaments. So right now, uh, that's, a re that's the main reason I'm really hooked into it. Uh, because there's a lot of community, there's a lot of players that you need to uh, be part of. And you could really enjoy the game. I think when I first started, uh, I don't really know how to play. Uh, same with any game, you need to practice a lot. So I think that's 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 it. When I first started, uh, I'm really a noob with the gameplay. I don't know how to play the uh, the game yet. I don't know the controls. I'm getting killed a lot during my first game. But after a lot of practice, uh, we improved. Uh, when we're winning. <laughs> And uh, when we're having a great time uh, executing gameplays during our, our scrimmage or during tournaments. Uh, for Call of Duty Mobile, I think it's a Ghost because it looks cool. That's it. Yes, um, I've gained a lot of friends. Uh, we built communities through Call of Duty Mobile. There's a lot of Facebook groups, a lot of uh, Discord channel specific to Call of Duty Battle Royale and we created some of those groups as well and through uh, Call of Duty Mobile I was able to communicate a lot with my brothers who are based in abroad in a different city uh, because of this game I also gained a lot of new friends from any, uh, other parts of the country oh, well this is a tough question because there are lots of instances that you'll be really really tempted to buy a lot of in-game purchases you just need to set an amount that you'd like to spend the entire year for a game. Same as any uh, budget that you have, you need to prioritize over your needs before your wants. So, uh, same rule applies to any uh, game, in-game purchases that, uh, that I have. So, uh, before I spend money on uh, games, I need to make sure that I have uh, enough extra money so that I could provide for my family and the needs that we have. Uh, there's a lot of these in all games. You can't really avoid them, uh, but the best way is to filter them out, especially with Facebook right now, or even in YouTube, there's a filter section or a filter option that you could do so that you could just remove them from your channel or your Facebook page. It's as easy as that. The game is somewhat addicting to be honest uh, when I first uh, tried it out. Uh, I've been playing non-stop for a couple of days uh, with my brothers and uh, friends but uh, I just reminded myself that I also have a real life after every match that I have so I just allocate a specific number of hours uh, per day that uh, it's like a me time for me. So let's just say uh, I only spend an hour uh, for a uh, game each day and that's it it takes a lot of practice patience and of course skills as well same with any other games or sports you need to practice it as much as you can I don't really stress much regarding the game because it's a game uh, first and foremost whenever you lose in the game that's part of the game and that's where you learn and that's where you enjoy as well and as much as possible it's best if you play with friends or relatives in your free time so that you you could really enjoy it again so gaming is not only about winning it's about having fun during your gameplay just don't take the game seriously if you're a uh, competitive uh, type of player just remind yourself that at the end of each match 
you could just play again and win the next round. That's it. You don't need to stress over it. This is just a game. You could just practice over and over until you, you become very good at it. First and foremost, mobile games is in a way to uh, relieve stress for me. I'm not sure about the other people there. But um, playing mobile games relieves stress for me. And it's one way of, uh, instead of going outside, you could just play with your friends. Uh, in my case, I'm playing with my brothers who are abroad, so it's one way of communicating and having fun with my relatives as well. I think the only skills that you could really implement in your life is communication with your teammate. Uh, sportsmanship as well, especially in scrimmage and tournaments. Uh, you need to have a great communication skills, leadership skills when you're playing uh, against a lot of top players and uh, opponents. Just enjoy the game and have fun, but just remind yourself that at the end of the game, you still have a real life that you need to focus on and uh, you need to treat it as such. It's, a, it's just a game. Uh, you're in there to have fun, so don't stress it out. Just enjoy, limit your time on it, and then after that, go back, spend time with your family, go outside if you can. That's it.